Yeah, take me back to them Golden State days, man, when y'all be... Listen, bro, a lot of people don't want to talk about this. You're supposed to be there with us. Let's, that we don't go there. Uh, we ain't going to... Yeah. This is about y'all, man. <laughs> this is about y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? The young Golden State Warriors, you know what I'm saying? Going into... How much confidence did y'all have going into the Dallas series? And prior to that series, what was y'all record like that year? Because you played each other four times. Do you remember? Do you recall what y'all, you know? I think we beat the shit out of them all four times. Oh, wow. So y'all was already confident. Yeah, eh? if, if we didn't beat them four, we beat them three out of four. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that was Don Nelson. Every time we played them, it was like his championship game. Oh, yeah, because Nelly was personal. He was he? beefing with them, right? He oh, was suing wow. them at the oh, time. Wow. He was, you know, he was suing Mark Cuban for money or something like that time. So they was beefing. Oh, wow. So um, when we was getting ready to play them in the playoffs, his whole attitude was, I don't give a fuck about nothing. We have to beat them. Mm. Afterwards, let me, let me tell you, and I'm going to get to that. After the, what happened after this, I don't, he basically said he don't even care about the season after that. Oh, wow. This is my championship. Oh, wow. We have to beat them. You know, all, that's, they played his whole style. Yeah. He, he drafted Dirk. He, I think he was there when they drafted Dirk. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he, he had so many connections to that team. He had built that whole team. So he knew how to break it bro, down. He knew, he, knew the, he knew the chinks in the armor. He, bro, he, he gave me Dirk's, mm. the playbook mm. of Dirk, how to guard him. Wow. And, I did, and he won MVP that year. Yeah, you know what's crazy? He, they didn't get out the first round. And up until that point, no, no player has ever won MVP and never got, got out of the, the first, first round. round. And, and that's that Cuban effect. Not yeah. to take anything away from him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you still got to play 82. You, get, you know what I mean? Everything is earned. But, man, that, man, I had, I had a real issue with that, you know, as, as everybody did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we all been in those talks. We all been right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me ask you this. Um, we ate all their food, bro. Lord. <laughs> they couldn't come in the lunchroom. It's only, you know, Stackhouse, you know, came in the lunchroom and grabbed him some food and ran out of there at 9 in. You know what I'm saying? He was the only mm -hmm. one really... Help with getting buckets and going, you know what I'm saying? He was stepping up. But the rest of the team don't come in the lunchroom. Matter of fact, come buy our food and walk out. Wow. That's what it was. Wow. The whole series. We went there, we went there in one game one in Dallas. And I want to throw this side note in here. This is when small ball is implemented. Yeah. And it's fucking up the league. Yeah. And <laughs> it's, listen, it's fucking up the league because the bigs can't play with the pace, yeah. and you gotta have one big. The, yeah. the league has been built off of two bigs, and those two bigs usually bring the pain and form this wall in the paint. Yeah. If you don't have one of them uh, bigs in there, your defense is damn near shot from a from a strategic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lord, when he put small ball in, now you had bigs having to guard Me. threes, twos, slashers. He he he. Listen, you know what slashers know how to do? Slash. You know how big. <laughs> you know, Biggs don't know how to guard a slasher. Do you say? Do, do I deny? Do, what do I do? So guess what? If you don't teach the big how to guard a slasher, he boy, he, he, he can't. The first quarter, nah, I got to bring a two or three in here. Now you're giving up uh, offensive rebounding. Yeah. Now he's 6'8". Guess what he's not going to do? He's not going to shrink no time soon. So when the ball go up and there's three 6'8", motherfuckers here, get your 6'5", 6'2", 6'4", guards, two guards, right? Because we got they got to chase y'all. Guess what? Now, he not quit slashing, and he's back. He's back. To, he's posted up now. That's what Don Nelson going to do. As soon as he see it. Small ball fucked up the lead from a, from a <laughs> how do we guard this? And then, if, if you figured it out, it was three years. Don Nelson's out the lead. Y'all spoiler. Like, Lord, like, yeah. like, don't nobody know what small ball did, dog. It, yep. it fucked the whole thing up. Yep. It cut the whole, hold on, do I get more fours or do I get more threes? Like, real shit. Then analytics come in here. Analytics fucked us all up. Don't take the two no more. He loved threes. Yep. And that little, that little, um, that jog into the three, that little yeah, sag three, three, that's his favorite. That's my shit. <laughs> Pull that motherfucker. That shit going, you going to hold that motherfucker. <laughs> I said, man, man, Joe, like, I'm saying that to say the context that not only did you have the Bible to Dirk and how to lock it up, and, but y'all had small ball, and no one was prepared for that. We had dogs, too. Yeah. Like BD. Steve Nash. Yeah. BD had 30 points the first game in Dallas, bro. I'm talking about, to, I'm on the court, but I'm like this. I don't even want the ball, bro. I'm, I'm enjoying watching you fry these motherfuckers on national TV for game one, the number one seed in the league. They had right. nothing for us, bro. And we got kicked out two, of the, two <laughs> out of the six games in the series and still one and six. <laughs> Damn.
I gave him 33 in game seven. Damn. To send him, I mean, yeah, the game six. Game six to send him home. Ugh. Gave him 33. Sent him home. Yeah. But, but see, we had the blueprint. You know, you know, we had a team full of dogs, bro. Me, right. BD, Al, Matt, Monte. Facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was just yeah. hungry, bro. We right. were already counted out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we shit, I think we won like 16 out of our last 21 games to make the playoffs, some oh, shit like that. Yeah, that crazy run. You had to make a run in order yeah, to, they had, yeah. to make it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you made the run, yeah. which is after you get traded midseason. Yeah, I got, yep. I, I got traded midseason, suspended seven games Facts. when I first got there for the shootout at Strip Club, right. when I first got there. So I missed seven games right. as soon as I get there. But we go on the road. We, we start off shady because we didn't have no camaraderie. I'm going to tell you all when the team clicked. We all met up in my crib and smoked. Over after that. After practice, we all met up in my crib. We was like, man, how we gonna turn this shit around? Me, BD, Matt, J. Rich, Monte, we, Al, we all sat in my crib and, and, burnt, and burned some. And talk, man, how we gonna turn this shit around? Turn to the round. And BD said the craziest shit ever, and that shit stick with all of us. This nigga BD say, big, big, uh, big room for us. We all looking at him like, and Pac too. We was like, <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas was high. No, look, but look, that's Diddy. No, if you know Baron Davis, he, he say, say shit like that, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So we all crying, Shut laughing, and shit. But that all stuck with us, like, you know what I'm saying? Like we think about that moment. That's when it clicked. We all laughing and shit and mm -hmm. high and shit. Mm -hmm. But after that, we went on a run, bro. Yeah, y'all did. We went on a run. Right. From that moment. And Nelly was the type of coach for that type of team, bro. After we beat Dallas, me and Nelly stayed at the same building. Facts. He had, the, he had the whole roof, right? So he tells us to come up to a spot. You already know what time it is. We celebrating like we won the chip. Championship, right? Me and Matt hit the door. Hey, Jack, go in the back. Woody Harrison and Arn Wilson back there rolling doobies. Oh, wow. At his spot. That was our coach, dog. We get our last drug test in Utah for the uh, second round. It's all certified, by the way. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? He meet, he meet, me, he meet me, me and BD when we come out the locker room with our, yellow, our pink slip, he giving us high fives. He know, know what time it is. We ain't time. gotta hide it. <laughs> nah, we love Nelly, bro. Shout to Don Nelson. Yeah, man. man. And he's in, if you're in Hawaii, he's in Maui right now. He has his own strand called Maui yeah. Waui. Nelly Weed. Yeah, Nelly Kush. Go right, get it. Go fuck with him. Shout out to Nelly. Be out there soon. The Don. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of one, yo. My favorite Don Nelson story, he show up to the joint, boy. He got the whole beer in here, boy. He coaching the All-Star game. He... So look, guys. <laughs> Cigars. Man, he was drinking a Miller Highlight while he was talking about what's about to go on. Cole got the, look, we look up. Cole got the, Cole got the one, two, Three hot packs on the right arm, three hot packs on the left arm. In the All-Star? In the All-Star game. This is how he's sitting on the thing listening to Don Nelson. He finna get me. We all ain't even, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, what you, boy, what you about to do? We just bust out laughing. <laughs> Nelly drinking beer, laughing with him. <coughs> Listen, you remember we came, them niggas came back from 25 and beat us? That was Nelly. Uh, 